Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've got some nice weather here, thankfully for about a day. Um, we're supposed to get about another 12 inches of snow this week. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys how to re-thread your wheel studs. Um, this is a Steelman kit. Here is the Steelman kit that I'll be using. It is part number six. 0375 nine piece split die re-threading kit. So it comes with pretty simple instructions and then it tells you what it contains, um, basically the size of what your wheel studs are. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and get into this. Actually, before we get into this, I wanna tell you guys why I'm doing this. Um, now, there are other ways you can go about doing this. Um, the Duramax stud, by the way, is a M14 1.5 and that's the largest kit that cut largest stud re-threader that comes in this kit now I will say the reason why I'm doing this is because I got all sorts of paint on there now if you see here I have all this paint in here and unfortunately when I did paint my axle I got all sorts of paint and crap in here and I'm just gonna try and get that out of these threads just to make it a lot easier for these lug nuts to go on. What I'm avoiding is putting my lug nuts on with the paint on and then stripping uh, the actual metal of the stud out when you put your lug nuts on. Now, if you have a stripped lug nut, this is a good way to re-thread it. That's the purpose of this kit, but it also works to clean your stud. Now, I know there's stud cleaners that they make that's a little cup that goes on a drill and it's got like wire bristles in the inside of it but this is a much better option from my experiences over the years. We're simply just gonna take our M14-1.50. We're going to take the socket that fits that size, which is the inch and three eighths, and then a big half inch Milwaukee. Well, it's pretty simple. You're gonna go ahead and put this over the back of the stud. Just like that. Nice and tight. And it's that simple to clean your studs off, you guys. Look at that. That is a nice, clean stud compared to what I have up here. That is gonna be nice. It is a very simple process to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on all my studs right now. You're gonna go ahead and basically watch me do it. Um, it's it's a really good thing to do, especially if you just want to do this occasionally on your wheel studs if you're rotating your tires, just to kind of clean out some gunk and grime that's in those wheel studs to avoid, you know, basically stripping out your wheel stud when you go ahead and put your lug nut on. All seriousness, you guys, it is extremely simple to do this. Um, if you saw at the end there, I finished my last stud on this side, and then I went, I, I put it back on, just kind of backed it in and out on these studs. Worked amazingly. I would suggest having this kit on hand. If you got a spare 170 bucks laying around, and you're wondering what kind of tool to add to your arsenal, this is a good tool kit to have. It cleaned these studs. Absolutely beautiful, you guys. Everyone was telling me, oh, you ruined your studs. Oh, you gotta get all new studs. You're gonna have to buy that all new. You ruined it. All because I painted over it. Guys, I knew what I was doing, all right? I appreciate the concern. But I'm glad I did it this way. Now it's time to get these wheels put back on. <sighs> it's always something. It's always something. Now I just remembered that my old lug nuts I got rid of because they were trash. I gotta buy new lug nuts. Damn it. You know, you're out with you, you just get just this close to putting something back together, and then the one little important part you forgot your lug nuts. Alright, well, looks like I'm gonna be doing this in the snow now because I'm gonna get new lug nuts, I'm gonna get these wheels and tires on. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this rear axle finally put back in. So stay tuned. It's gonna happen quick here, hopefully. It's gonna happen this week. So I just wanna get my truck back on the road. Ah! All right, I apologize. I wanted to get the axle on for you guys today. I really do sincerely apologize. Um, apparently my 
ducks weren't in a, in a row for this. So I will link this kit below for you guys. Like I said, I would highly suggest having it around. It's a really good kit to have, um, especially if you strip out a wheel stud. It definitely uh, does the job. And um, you know, it may save a couple bucks here and there. It may save some time in a pinch. So I would highly suggest having it. Again, I sincerely apologize for screwing up. Um, that was definitely not my intentions. It kind of sucks. It sucks for me because it's so nice out, so beautiful out right now. I don't know, it's got to be like 40 degrees out, so it's gorgeous out, and we're going to get a foot of snow, so looks like I'm going to be doing this one in the snow. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Have a good night.